got a few items that Nightcore have sent in recently, so I thought I'd start off with the SRT7i. This looked quite interesting to me because there's some useful features on this model. And that includes the smart selector ring, which is a rotary adjuster at the base of the torch. That gives you a stepless adjustment of the power level. And it also has pretty long range on this 580 meters. Not sure if Nightcore are doing different versions of this, but I've only got the base one. It doesn't have all of the items that you get in some of the bundles. Here's your user guide and your warranty card. They also give you a Type A to Type C charging cable. And this is the tactical style holster that they've got in the box. You can see the model number there is sewn in at the top near the D-ring. And this is open at the bottom as well. We'll just take a look at the body design now. You can see with the specs on screen, it's not the shortest torch by any means. Not really surprising considering the uh, longer reflector that we've got there. They've done something interesting with the Type-C charging port though. It's covered with a metal flap, which is quite stiff really. It does have a bit of resistance there. It doesn't open easily on its own. It just feels more secure and more premium. That port is water resistant, so there's no problems with getting water on that. It's really just to keep the dirt out. Here's a look at the Smart Selector Ring. There are stops on this as well. It's quite smooth. But when you get to certain points, you will feel there's more resistance and it sort of stops there. You need to sort of push it a bit harder. Those stops at the lock position, at the first of the power levels and at the top power level and on the tack mode. I think they've got the resistance about right. It's not too stiff, but it's not too easy to turn. Here's the switches on the base or tail cap and they're both two stage switches for the mode and the power button. You can see the paddle switch is lifted up slightly. It's not quite flat, but the U-shape there it is perfectly stable if you are doing a base or a tail stand. And you can see there, there are grooves in the body. That is for the clip, so it locks into place. I don't have the clip to show you, so I'm just going to carry on with the other areas of the torch. I'll just show you the battery that's included with this, and that is the i-series one. That means to say you have the positive and negative terminals on both ends. Um, in the middle part is the positive and the outside is the negative. This is the only 21700 type battery that you can use in this torch. So you are limited to the custom cells. Although you can use these batteries with other torches. I've done that myself without a problem. There is an adapter for the 16340s. Um, I don't have that myself. And that might be included in some of the packages. You'll see your battery voltage will flash up when you insert it into the torch. Can't really fault the finishing on this. It does feel very nice. Decent bit of knurling. They've got a pretty beefy bezel on this as well. And it has some of those, what they're calling now is the silicon nitride ceramic bezel points or something like that. Evidently they are super tough and you could smash through glass without any problems. It's a bit front heavy, but that's probably expected due to the size of the head and reflector. Let's go through the UI. First of all, we'll start with the tack mode. You have a choice with the momentary modes on this. You have the half press for the low mode and a full press. That will take you up to the turbo output. And the mode switch takes care of the access to the strobe. Over onto the stepless mode, and we have a half press for your momentary, which will be your previous power level access to turbo and we also have the strobe as well with that either when it's on or off you have both options there when the torch is powered on that strobe will stay on until you press it again for the lockout just twist it over to the padlock and you'll see the led flash a couple of times both switches are locked out fully in that mode so there's no chance of accidental activation it's also possible to adjust that selector one-handed, so you don't need two hands to use that. They also give you a battery check when the torch is powered on. You've got three stages for that, with the flashing and rapid flashing when it's at the lower level on the battery capacity. Just a few shots to show it to you in the holster quickly, so you can see that. It's one of those models that's really going to be quite easy to pick up, much more so than some of the torches that are out there. I think most people are going to like this UI. It is quite intuitive. 
quite fast charging on this torch as well. It does support quick charge, but even with the five volts, I was getting almost 2.8 amps charging speed, which is quite fast. Color temperature around about 6,400 kelvins, but it does shift a little bit when you're changing the power level. We move on to the beam shots now, just to give you an idea of what you can expect. And we'll start off with the TH10R. Here's the EDC27, which I looked at recently. You can see the tin is quite different between those two. And the Nightcore is quite even in terms of its spread, much more so than the jet beam torch. Moving over to the new one, the SRT7i. I've started it off at the lowest output. They're saying it's 0.1 of a lumen, but I think it's a bit higher than that. You'll see that intensity in the middle. That's where we get the range from, but it does spread out decent bit of spill around about sort of 30 40 percent power level you get quite a nice spill out of this reflector and i'll just bring it back down again to the lower power levels if you're someone who gets a bit frustrated with some of the level spacing on some of these models then this could be a pretty good option for you but we'll do a few more beam shots now i've got some longer distance shots as well included so do have a look at those and i'll give you my final summary at the end of the video Give you a few thoughts now on using the night call what i think of it i do like the fact you have a decent bit of range out of this model typically looking for over 300 meters for a tactical torch and this is well over that i also think the smart selector ring is very good that works well for me i'm finding it quite intuitive and it's quick to operate there's a couple of obvious drawbacks for me the most obvious is the fact that you are stuck with those custom batteries and they do tend to be a bit more expensive. I would have liked to have seen an 18650 adapter included. Some of the high drain cells could handle that power output. Be interested to get a bit of feedback from viewers on this. So if you have any thoughts on this, do drop a comment down below. Would this be something you'd be interested in? Or is there anything you'd like to change in terms of the design? Got a few more items that I'll be working on very shortly. So do stick around for that. And as usual, Thanks for watching.